Hi, this is Spencer Ackerman with Wired.com in the flight deck control of the USS Wasp, an amphibious assault ship off the Atlantic coast. And I'm here with Lieutenant Andrea Albert. She's the aircraft uh, handling officer uh, for the Wasp. And uh, Lieutenant, uh, Lieutenant Smash, as she's known. Uh, <laughs> Smash, tell us uh, how to uh, take off and land a helicopter on one of your very busy days on this very busy deck. Well, everything starts out in the morning with flight quarters being set and we do a FOD walk down that stands for foreign object damage to make sure there's no nails or bobby pins, anything on the flight deck that could get blown as debris and hurt someone or be sucked into an intake. And we set up in flight deck control here, do a comms check with the tower with everyone out in the flight deck who has communications with us. and. A lot of background checks. The aircraft will call into the tower. Once they clear them to land, the flight deck crew will direct the helicopter over the spot and land it. And what kind of aircraft do you have here on the Wasp? Well, we were able to launch the AV-8B Harrier, the SH-60 Seahawk, which is our usually the search and rescue aircraft. It's going to be the first one launched and the last one recovered. The AH-1 Cobras, which is an attack helicopter, UH-1 Huey, which is an all-purpose helicopter. The MV-22 Osprey, the tilt rotor, is able to fly in a helicopter and fixed wing kind of mode. Walk us through some of the complexities in getting these things on and off in more or less the same time in kind of choppy weather like today. Okay, well, we have an ideal timeline that everything is going to take off, so we're always gearing toward that. The ship has to be set up correctly to have the winds in the right envelope. The air crew has to be um, ready. The passengers loaded on the helicopter. We have a combat cargo team. The landing signal enlisted is the gentleman or lady who directs the helicopter on the flight deck, tells it when to lift and directs it. We have chalk and chain personnel who run in and take out the big heavy chains that hold the helicopter down. And once it's ready to go, the tower will give clearance for the LSE to lift the helicopter. And off, and it, goes. off it goes. 